research has shown that women are 80% more time romantic when standing beside their men at the ATM machine. What do you have to say regarding that? The comment section is open for you. What's up, guys? And welcome back to Jungle's Entertainment. They'll give you hundreds of all the trends or the happenings in Nigeria, Africa, and globally, especially in the entertainment industry. If you are new here, be kind not to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so as to stay updated whenever we upload hot new trending videos. Big ups and congratulations once again to Wandiko. We just got up to this good news. Mushin to move hits out on all platforms. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is over. That we can now stream at Wandiko's debut album, Mushin to move hit on all your favorite platforms. Remember this album when it was dropped years ago. We have so many hit tracks on that album, like from what you can see on this picture. I know you like it. You bad the one he did with the bash. So now like this. I love that song. So now like this, he go day day. And that is what we are going through in Nigeria right now. We keep asking ourselves, is this what we planned for? Is it the change we hoped for? It's like the song is, is the song was like, um, uh, a prophecy that's coming to pass right now. We have another song, Kiss Your Hands, Future, Ikechi Chuku, so many hit songs. We remember that album. I remember that album. What about you? What is your hit track of that album, man? When the Kojo drops his motion to more hits on Apple Music and everywhere. Yes. Immediately when the Kojo drops that on, on Apple Music and all the streaming platforms everywhere busts. That album is smart, that album is lit. We are still eagerly anticipating for Wandiko's next album. Big ups and congratulations to Wandiko. That album is smart. I mean, the album is bringing out the best vibes it brought when it was just released. Big ups and congratulations to Wandiko. He's gonna make money from dropping that album. Let us dive into another part of entertainment. Let's talk about the Nollywood um, actors. These guys are great guys, they be doing very well. Recently, Inkechi Blessing. Inkechi Blessing's drama is a very lengthy one. It's been on and off, she's been falling in and out of love. Well, we have this news from the desk of Inkechi Blessing that he's doing the forever thing with me. Nollywood actress Inkechi Blessing Sunday might be walking down the aisle sooner than expected as she hints at ringing the wedding bells. Kechi Blessing, who has been flaunting her new man on social media following his birthday celebration, took to her Instagram page to hint at the good news. Do you really think this will work? I've dropped that in most of my videos. Please check them out. Kechi Blessing just came up and told us she has a new man. The guy is very young. The guy is far, far younger than her. And regarding that, when Toto Duque saw it, Toto Duque was like, well, that she doesn't want to bring her love life, to make her love life public again because she knows what she has gone through, that she's hiding her love life like uh, AIDS. But, well, Nkechi Blessing has decided to come up online. We should remember what happened in her last relationship. She came up and told us that they are happily married, they have kids together. And when Castle boss, when her father hooked for Papua, that was when we got to know the truth that they were not married. Well, what do you have to say regarding that? Do you really think this will flow? Do you really, really think uh, if Ikechi Blessing ends up marrying this guy, I mean, things will be rosy or rosier for her? Maybe her dreams will come true. Some people are not okay with this, but some persons are okay. Ikechi Blessing fans, they are like congratulating her, praying for her. They want the best for her. Regarding the Ikechi Blessing saga from the desk of Nollywood actor, Uche Maduagu, he says, This Ikechi, eh, now every two market days, she did fall in love. You be my colleague for Nollywood, but this your desperation for marriage is too much. I'm on your heart, no go intervene. If this new guy serve you breakfast after freeing, after free am, that came from the desk of Uche Maduagu. Do you really think this Ikechi's blessings marriage to this young guy will work? This is the comment section. Still with the entertainment or music industry, these musicians have been putting smiles on our faces. Congratulations and big ups to the video. As I've been saying most of my video, Afrobeat is the next big thing, whether we like it or not. Afrobeat has been trending. We see so many musicians, I mean, featuring Af Afrobeat at the likes of the video, Whiskey, Domale, 
I start, the list is becoming endless. Some of them are even, I mean, coming to do remixes with other Nigerian artists. That's a huge one. Talking about the Afrobeats, selling Afrobeats to the world. We have this good news that Davido credited as writer on Chris Brown hot song under the influence. Big ups and congratulations to Singer Davido. That's a huge one. Davido has been doing numbers, no doubt about that. And still talking about Davido, congratulations to Israel DMW, Davido's logistics manager. He is getting married. Big ups. We saw Davido flying with uh, Chioma to uh, uh, Benin to witness the wedding ceremony of Israel DMW. It's been lit. We know there's one good thing about uh, Israel DMW and David He doesn't joke with his Oga. <laughs> his Oga, David they are, they, are, they are very good friends. And David has promised us to be getting married to Shoma in 2023. We are eagerly anticipating that wedding. It's going to be a huge one because we know David they, they knows how to spend money. So, big us and congratulations once again to um, is a DMW and his wife, Sheila. Their white wedding just ended today. We wish them all the best that comes with marriage. See, talking about entertainment, our entertainers, let us talk about Black Bones. Recently, Black Bones released the video, a video he directed himself of Back to Uni. Nearly Black Bones released that song. Few weeks after releasing the song, that's who called off the strike, and people were attacking Black Widow. Why did you release this song? So people were even praising him that come, you just released this song, and all of a sudden, that's who called off strike. I should remember that I started dropped the song Rush, and all of a sudden, Flood <laughs> came into Nigeria, and also there was this song, you know, Electricity, that was released, and we had lights for like one week in Nigeria. Well. Talking about Black Bones, Black Bones announces his next album, Young Richard Tracklist, that with feature from Loje, Amaria, Techno, Saltiso, that's Blackie. Well, congratulations and big ups to Black Bones. We can't wait for that. On the track list, we have Young Richard, we have Hot Boy, we have Whistle, we have Fashion Nova, we have Back to Uni. We have fake Nikes, we have Ring Ring, we have Loyalty, we have She, she Like Igbo, <laughs> we have, uh, that's an interlude anyway, we have S Mama, we have uh, Mazo, we have Star Life, we have Back on BS, we have I Will Be Waiting. Black Bones, we are waiting for Young Prisha to drop. You will do your best not to give us rap in this country, and we love rap. See, talking about um, our country, Nigeria, let us go over to uh, an ambassador. We got up to this news. It's not rosy for the youth out there who've been making ends meet using this platform. That governor, Sududu, bans bet Nigeria, Naira bet, other gambling services, and casinos in Anambra. What is really happening? I, I, I don't think there's any, I, I, I don't see any reason to my own knowledge anyway why he should ban this because these guys, so many persons have been making ends meet using this uh, platform. The comment section is open for you to drop your comments. Now let us move on to the United States of America. Or, yes, let us move on to the United States of America since still in the entertainment industry. Because and congratulations to Cardi B. Cardi B dropped this message that I just won this lawsuit. I am so emotional right now. I want to kiss God's feet right now. I am beyond grateful. Yeah. Cardi B just got some good news to kick off her weekend. She says she has won a five year long legal battle over the cover art for one of her mixtapes. Big ups and congratulations to Cardi B. She is very happy right now in the entertainment industry. Ken West has been trending. Ken West apologizes for anti. Semitic comments. The American rapper Ken West has tendered his apology to people had by his series of anti Semitic comments in the past week. West appeared on Pierce Morgan's uncensored show, with which aired on, on Wednesday, where he was called out by the host for targeting the Jewish community with hateful remarks. In, in one of the tweets that led to Twitter restricting his account, the rapper wrote, I am a bit sleepy tonight, but when I wake up, I will go dead country on Jewish people. 
the funny thing is i can't actually be anti-semitic because black people are jewish also you people gave toys with me and gave tried to blackmail whoever opposes your agenda Kenji has been doing so much. I mean, he has been going through a lot, but where he has apologized. And from another news, we got that Balenciaga, I mean, they are cutting ties with Kenji, not just Balenciaga, Adidas. So many companies have been cutting ties with Kenji because his actions are becoming questionable. The comment section is still open for you to drop a comment. Finally, let us talk about football. Yeah, yesterday I said something about Cristiano Ronaldo being. Uh, being being kept in the bench from the man that we played against Chelsea. We have this news that Cristiano Ronaldo breaks silence on Manchester United versus Chelsea Smoke. That Cristiano Ronaldo has broken his silence on Eric Tag. Then Hag's decision to drop him from the Manchester United squad to face Chelsea on Saturday, October 22. It is seven year old who faces an increasingly uncertain future at Old Trafford has insisted that he will continue working hard and be ready whenever called upon. Well, let me read out Cristiano Ronaldo's message for you. According to Cristiano Ronaldo, he said, As I have always been throughout my career, I try to live and play respectfully towards my colleagues, my adversaries, and my coaches. That hasn't changed. I haven't changed. I am the same person and the same professional that I have been for the last 20 years playing elite football and respect has always played a very important role in my decision making process. I started very young. The older and most experienced players' examples were always very important to me. Therefore, later on, I've always tried to set the example myself for the young stars that grew in all the teams that I have represented. Unfortunately, that's not always possible and sometimes the heat of the moment gets the best of us. Right now, I just feel that I have to keep working hard in Carrington, support my teammates and be ready for everything in any given game. Giving in to the pressure is not an option. It never has. This is Manchester United. The United we will stand. Soon we will be together again. That was a message from Cristiano Ronaldo. Some, some, some persons are saying the best thing for Cristiano Ronaldo to do is to leave the club, to so leave Manchester United and go to another club that will go for the, uh, the Champions League so as to deliver him his best. We know Cristiano Ronaldo has a few years left in his career and he wants to win trof trophies. He wants to keep breaking records. Comment section is yeah, open for you on the channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. So, see you guys soon.